A few weeks ago now, I released my Google Tag Manager beginners tutorial for 2017, which you can find in the description below. But unintentionally, I missed out a small section of that video about how to track file downloads with Google Tag Manager. So it's taken me a few weeks, but I finally re-recorded it and I wanted to upload it to you as this separate video so that you can watch it. I also suggest you do go back and watch the original tutorial because it's completely in depth. Uh, it's, it's over two hours long. The first half is completely free and you can get so much information about Google Tag Manager and how to use it. But this little section was meant to go in the video and it got forgotten. So if you're interested in learning how to track file downloads, this is the video for you. The way in which we track file downloads is actually very similar to the way we track outbound links. So here on this test page, I have got three examples of text files. Uh, well, one's a PDF, one's a Word document, one's a text file, and they're all potential downloads. So if someone clicks on it, it opens up a new file and there is the download. So how do we track these? Well, the what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an event in GA so that every time one of these links is clicked, we track that as an event. So let's get started in Google Tag Manager. The first thing we need to do is we want a trigger, a trigger which is gonna say um, file downloaded. And because of the way my website's set up, if we have a look at these links and inspect them in the developer console, you'll actually see that they are all A elements, which means they are links. Now, normally, your website will have the same thing. Your developers might have done something fancy with, uh, with buttons and CSS styling, but ultimately they are generally, download links are generally A tags. If it's not, you can get around that, but this, is, this tutorial is gonna assume it is an A tag. So uh, we're gonna track clicks and we're gonna track just links. And we don't wanna track everything, we just wanna track some links. So how do we know if this is a file download? Well, generally because of the end of the URL. The file extension is gonna give away a clue as to whether this is a download or whether this is someone linking to another page of the website. For example, this link up here doesn't have a .pdf at the end of it, whereas this one does. So that gives us an indication that this is a download. So let's set click URL and we're gonna set it to matches regex. And what we want to do is we wanna track PDFs or the pipe symbol here means or, or we wanna track documents, or we wanna track docx, which is obviously the new style of office documents, or we wanna track text. And you could add in as many extensions here as you want to track and leave out ones you don't. So to make this a valid regular expression, I'm going to put brackets around it. And this, uh, now this could go wrong if, for example, you had doc in the domain name or any previous part of the URL. So I'm going to add a dollar sign, which, which tells, uh, which means this regular expression, it means that this, these characters have to be the last thing in the URL. And finally, I'm going to put a dot at the beginning because I want dot and then one of these dot pdf dot doc dot docx dot txt and um, because dot in regular expression is a special character it needs to be escaped with a backslash so if you are not familiar with regex you can read up on it or just copy this one and all you need to do is add in your own file extensions here whenever you want but for the moment we'll leave it as this and let's save that as a file downloaded trigger. Next up, we're gonna create the tag. Let's create a new GA tag called GA um, file, it's called downloaded file. Tag configuration, very similar to everything we've done before. Universal analytics, we're gonna set it up as an event. I'm gonna call mine downloads as the event category. The action will be downloaded file and the label here um, we're just going to use the click URL because that will give us the full path to the file that's been downloaded again you could get fancy here and you could create a custom um, JavaScript variable 
which would extract the last bit of the URL. So here, instead of tracking this whole thing, we could just track that final bit. That would be entirely possible. Another way to do this would be to use a data attribute within the HTML. So your developers would do something like this, data-file name equals floor plan. And we could set up, oops, I needed to put a, that wasn't correct, correct, data-floor, sorry, file name equals floor plan PDF, like so. And then within GTM, we could set up a, uh, a variable to collect that information from the link and set that as the event label. But we're keeping it simple for now. Most people will just want the whole click URL. Now, um, since, since recording the previous parts of this video, uh, GTM's changed uh, and it's changed the way that it tracks this. Now, normally, uh, before we just had the tracking ID which we could put in uh, as follows, GA property ID. Uh, in the new version of Google uh, GTM, there's actually a new variable, there's a new option here. So whichever version you've got, it's absolutely fine. But essentially, you just need to make sure that the right GA property is selected there. Advanced settings leave for the moment. Triggering, we're going to go in, select our trigger, which we created earlier, file download, and save that. Perfect. Right, let's give this a preview. Check everything is working. Okay, let's head up to the page. Now I'm going to refresh this page. And let's see what we get. All right, so we can see our file downloaded or downloaded file tag has not yet fired, which is obviously what we want. But when we click one of these, let's go for the PDF. The PDF opens, and if we have a look back in our original tab, the tag GA downloaded file has fired, and it's correctly set the label as floorplan.pdf. So that is how you track file downloads with GTM and Google Analytics.